This is the lovely train station of Clamberis. From here travels a Cogwheel railway to the summit of Snowdon, the highest peak of Wales. Places are limited, so one has to reserve tickets in advance. We expected to be better, but as you can see, we are not really blessed with sunshine here now in North Wales, but well, we already booked our tickets, so we will go up and uh, look for better weather. So this is the place we will queue. They have several services a day on, on the mountain up, and uh, we will go soon. The trip lasts an hour on a route that is more than 100 years old. The railway was constructed in 1896, at that time powered by steam. We leave from 100 meters and we'll get to 1065 meters. The train operates from March to October. Interesting fact, four years ago it was used to rescue a teenage girl as the weather was so bad that helicopters couldn't land on the summit. One can see the bottom of the cloud here that seems to cover Snowdon today. I predict bad visibility. We are probably at two-thirds of the height and the weather has completely turned into foggy, so I wonder what we will see from the top. The summit of Snowdon is said to be the tomb of Hrita Gaur, a giant. This is probably the reason for the Welsh name, which means burial mound. Hrita Gaur wore a cloak made of men's beards, and he wanted to take King Arthur's beard. That's fairly bizarre. But King Arthur is not legendary for nothing. He killed the giant. There will be other sites with Arthurian connections on our road. We are here at the summit. We can absolutely not see anything because it's so foggy, but we found the postcard, so this is what we are supposed to see. So we, we try to imagine how it looks. But we will buy a postcard and we can actually mail it from here and they put a small stamp on it. So we will do that. It looks like yeah, a hut when you go to ski. It's very busy, very warm here. There are toilet facilities you can eat. And uh, actually, I think it's also a good idea to come up walking and then wait for a train to go down because trains are quite free. There is a train every half an hour, so you can wait here in the warmth uh, to go down. You can eat some nice food or have hot chocolate. So now we are making our way to the summit, which will be five minutes. So here we are on the top of Wales and they promised that I will see as far as Ireland but frankly this is And this weather seems typical. 89 years ago, a girl named Margaret must have felt the same way. I've never felt so cold in my life. And it was almost on the same day of the year, in July. Here it's not that windy as upstairs, so it feels warmer. And also the wind doesn't blow the rain into our faces, so it's a better experience here. Yeah. But the visibility is still only a couple of meters. 
So the problem is here that everything is so slippery and uh, it's very difficult to, to come down. And there are many people standing here but the path is not very clear so people are going all over. A bit of signage wouldn't have hurt. Interesting fact. Snowdon was used by Edmund Hillary in his training for climbing the Mount Everest in 1953. I wonder why, because he had higher mountains to practice on in New Zealand. Maybe because of this especially crap weather? We actually got down to a level where we see something, so there is a lake there. And hopefully as we continue our way down, the fog will clear and we will be able to see more. Another piece of King Arthur legend. When Arthur was dying, he had one of his knights throw his famous sword, Excalibur, into this lake. The Lady of the Lake took it. Also, Arthur's body was later placed in a boat to be carried away to Avalon. By the way, I think this film is one of the greatest cinematographic achievements. will be much better but actually if, if I would do again uh, probably I would uh, have an accommodation close to Snowdon for a couple of days and wait for a good day uh, with sunshine and I would climb up and uh, probably I would wait upstairs at the station for a standby ticket to come down by train if I don't want to, to uh, work for seven hours. have energy to run. It's amazing. And finally, after three hours of walking, we see the road. So that's our target. So we came down on the miners track and apparently we descended 723 meters. And if we had gone up on foot, it would have taken six hours, they say. Well, I'm not sure. Hello. Here actually there are taxis which you can take. Uh, it will cost you 15 pounds to get back to Ladbury's, where our car is. Well, if you are a large party, let's say four people, it's probably worth it. But we are going to take the bus. The bus is there. Ladbury's. So back to 
the car. Ooh, this will be good to sit down. And we left at 11 o'clock. Now it's 5 o'clock, so altogether it took us 6 hours to go up by train and come down by come down on foot and uh, come back to here by bus. Luckily I bought a parking ticket for 8 hours, so we are all set. Let's go then. Wow, the postcard from Snowdon. It really invokes nice memories. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more interesting travel videos. I will keep uploading videos of my last fantastic Wales trip. While I was shooting the postcard scene, the cat decided to make the tripod her new home. See ya, Machka. Hello. It doesn't really care. <laughs>